it's Christy. Let's have a very frank and honest discussion, okay? And that is, why should you spend $35 or more to buy a little glow-in-the-dark ghoulie from me? I think this is a question that needs a serious answer. So we're going to dive into that today. Now, first of all, what the heck are glow-in-the-dark ghoulies? For those of you who don't know me, pff, what? Um, I have for years and years made these little guys. These are just a sampling. And they're made out of polymer clay. I do them one at a time. And they glow in the dark. Except for the ones that don't. And they're weird. Each one is a little different. Now sometimes I make one of a kind ones that go to my special group. But often I will put together a limited edition series. And in that limited edition series you get a chance to spend $35 to buy one. I make them all similarly and then when I'm bored of making them I stop and that's how that goes. So why? Why should you spend that kind of money on basically a little weirdo? Well, let's get the very number one reason out of the way right off the bat and that is because I would like some of your money. Now I know there's a lot of people out there selling all kinds of stuff and bottom line for just about everybody who's selling something is, we would like some of your money. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, all right? It just is what it is. Apparently, to live in this world, we use money to trade for goods and services. I mean, I have a certain level of expectation on the quality of my chocolate, and occasionally I want to go visit people and live in a house and all that stuff, and I guess I have to pay for those sorts of things, so now I have to find out a way to create an income so that I can have all these lovely things, as we all do. So, my strategy is to see if I can get you to give me some money. Now, I'm going to trade you something for it, and I don't want to take your money if you don't really have it to spare, so no guilt, but if you're just lying around going, geez, I wonder what I'll do with all this money, may I suggest that you buy one of these little weirdos from me? Now, they always change. They're not always available, so it's always kind of like a secret fun surprise. Will she have one? Will she not? Will I like it? Will I don't? That's part of the fun, right? So, most of you are going to evaluate spending money on a piece of my little weirdo artwork based on whether or not you like it. But here's why I think you should like it. All right, there's a lot of reasons. Let's talk about those. First one is it's $35. Now, on the surface of it, you might be like, $35 for a little glow-in-the-dark weirdo? That's ridiculous. Yeah, sure, but also. Last time you spent $35 on, say, like a meal, where you had fun, you went out to eat, and you had a meal. That stuff was flushed away in the next day, and on this particular product, you will get to treasure it, look at it, enjoy it indefinitely. So the longevity is a factor. Also, I believe that these little crazy guys will make you smile. Now, what's your smile worth? And this, smile worth. and this isn't just one smile, mind you. Each one of these little glow-in-the-dark weirdos has the capacity to create upwards of 15,000 smiles over the lifetime of the creature. I mean, what kind of value is that? Can you even put a price on it? Apparently, yes, $35. Okay, so what else? Okay, so you've heard of buyer's remorse, right? Well, I would suggest to you that you might experience the exact opposite, which is the dang it realization, where you suddenly realize, dang it, I wanted to get one of those things and I waited too long and now they're not available anymore because I only make these things until I am no longer amused. Because my personal feeling is, when I am making something that amuses me, that creates a very high quality piece of artwork or silliness, whichever you prefer, uh, because I'm kind of putting a little bit of my joy into that thing, right? So if I start getting less amused at making whatever it is I've decided to make many of, then the quality of the internal vibration is going to go down. We can't have that. So these are all very high quality, happiness, joy, silliness creations. So that means they're limited. So you better get one so that you don't have dang it realization. 
Also, just a little side note, these little silly things put in a strategic spot in your life will remind you not to take life so seriously. And that's good, right? And finally, what I feel like is a sort of most important aspect of this transaction that we might be getting into is that when you buy one of these little limited edition glow-in-the-dark ghoulies and or ones that occasionally don't glow, you will be getting a tiny little piece of me. And isn't that really the best part of all of this? I will be with you forever in a tiny, 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 tiny little way embedded into that strange weirdo. And then your life will probably be much better. So hopefully all of these very clear and logical reasons for why you should spend some of your money on a frivolous, silly, but fun little weirdo creature has motivated you to go to the description and go straight over on the link provided to my website, which is just christyfreezen.com. But there's a link, so you can just do the clicking. And hopefully, at the time you're watching this, there will indeed be one of these limited edition glow-in-the-dark ghoulies on sale, ready for you, for all the reasons we discussed. Thanks! Uh -huh.